Hello Fingsters, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, let's learn how to remove extra white spaces from the HTML using Beautiful Soap. So, there are two aspects to it. Uh, one is to remove all the extra spaces and to return the entire element as such, entire uh, HTML element with tags as such, something like this. And in the second case, we'll also check how to fetch only the values without any extra spaces in it. Okay, so let's get started. This is just a comment I had, so I'll remove it. So when you're using Beautiful Soup, if you haven't installed it, then please install Beautiful Soup. And after installing, you can import it saying from BS4 import Beautiful Soup. After that, uh, let's parse the HTML that you have. So if you have an HTML string, you can parse it this way. If you have an HTML document, parse it in the right way using the HTML parser. And after that, let's say we have to find all the values. First, let's see fetching the values without spaces. So if you want to fetch these values, so what do you do? Uh, you say output is equal to soup dot find all of li. You will find all the li tags and uh, then you try to print it. Okay. So let's say we try to print it just like that. We say let's say element line doesn't uh, sound great here. So when I say element dot text, let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, there are some extra spaces and all of these spaces are considered. So instead of this, I'll say dot strip off. So when I say dot strip off, all the extra spaces will be removed. So this is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is uh, using the stripped strings. So firstly, what are stripped strings? It's a beautiful class. Yes, so, sorry, beautiful soup. This library supports something called as stripped strings. These are nothing but these are string generators. Okay, so this will return back only the values with uh, omitting the extra unnecessary spaces okay so for example let's see how to use it uh, let's say we have this output let's find everything within a div tag okay so i'll say i have a div tag to find everything within the div tag i say uh, soup dot find dot Devo. and then when i'm running the loop instead of output i'll say output dot stripped underscore strings and then i'll print all the elements in ele let's say what gets printed i'll run this code now so if you can see only the values get printed here. but there is a caution here that you have to keep in mind you can't use it with find all set so let's say if you say find all of find all the li tags if you give this and uh, if you run this program there is an attribute error it says result set object has no attribute stripped strings why does it say so that's because we know that find i'll just comment it here and uh, show If you see, what does find all return? Find all returns a list. So if you see, it returns a list here. This is one list object. This is another list object. And this is another list object. And stripped strings is a can be applied on string objects only. That's why you find this error. So you have to use just find 
okay so finding with one li tag is not a possible thing right there are three li tags if we find it using li tag we get only one li tag return so instead we will say find it in the parent tag that is due and then find the due tag and within the due tag we'll do, we'll see stripped strings we'll call the stripped strings and that case what happens is it returns just the value of these tags removing the unnecessary white spaces and new line characters from it so we can say for element in output dot stripped underscore strings print element so now i'll run this program to find this now let's see how to remove the spaces unnecessary spaces and uh, to how to get the entire uh, element as such so in this case let's create a list okay something like uh, html underscore um, without spaces okay some list like this and then we say for element in output dot uh, split based on new line characters so let's try to print this let's see what we get so when we run this oh, it says output dot split slash n is not callable if you observe that's because we are splitting output is a beautiful soup object and we are trying to split the beautiful soup object for example see let's check the type here okay, so print type of output if you can see it is a bs4 element tag so let's convert it to a string and then try to split it uh, based on the new line characters so now there is no error and uh, we are able to split this i'll just remove this now let's say we are stripping this stripping every element what do we get so we get everything without any extra spaces or new line characters so what we could do is we could just append to this list say append of ele dot strip of and uh, I'll just print it off HTML without spaces. So when I run this program, I can see that there is a list created here and the list has all the elements from the HTML without any spaces. So I'll say, I'll convert this to a string using join function now. We'll join these elements from the list without any spaces okay so when i run this we get the necessary tag so instead of this you can also use list comprehensions if you want to use uh, list comprehensions this is how you do it i'll just comment this portion off and uh, is equal to so we have to generate a list in that uh, let's say first the iteration condition for element in str of output we are converting the output to the string type and splitting based on a condition so here we will return ele dot strip of okay and this uh, this is a list now so okay first let me print this when i print this let's see what i get 
So I get a, a list with the uh, elements without any spaces. So I can simply join it like this or instead of assigning it and all of that, I will just say dot join of this particular list. Now I will run this program. So, okay, this is what we have achieved. There is another way of doing this, which is using the regular expressions. So, I will just remove this thing off. So, in order to use regular expressions, you have to import the regular expression library, which is RE. After importing it, let's <clears throat> finalize the pattern that is to be searched and then replace it with a empty character. Okay, that is what we'll be doing. So, we have to first find the slashes. Okay, so how do you identify slashes? Uh, to identify slashes, you can say, so I'll have a pattern. We'll say re.compile of. First, let's identify the slash in characters. So, to identify that, I'll say slash in. So, any occurrences of slash n has to be removed and also I'll say or I'll say or I have to remove the extra spaces as well when the count of extra spaces is more than two okay I don't want to remove one extra space if I remove one extra space even so this this there is a space between this and post even that would be lost right so I don't want that if there are more than uh, like if there are two or more extra spaces i want to remove that so in that case i'll say um backslash space that is space and uh, if we specify the number within the empty braces it, indifi it indicates the occurrences okay so i'll say two comma so this matches two or more spaces so this is the pattern that I have. Now what I will do is there is this output element which is not a string object. So I will firstly convert it to a string object while passing. I can use re.sub. What does re.sub do? It just replaces a string like str.replace is an option right. Similarly to match and uh, to replace the regex objects we can use I mean to match and replace the regular expressions we can use re.sub of so I will we'll look out for the pattern if the pattern is found we will replace it with an empty character and all these operations are to be performed on the string so which string html string here but because I've already, uh, because this is an example and uh, I might not have to pa parse from HTML string all the time. I've converted just to showcase, I've converted it to a soup element. And then we are, uh, we have to uh, like make the changes in the output, which is a object of beautiful soup. But these operations can be done only on the string. So I'll say string of output now let's print this when i print this okay this is what i receive as an output so this is what we wanted so yeah that is it these are the these were like we discussed four methods of removing extra spaces from an html using beautiful soup um, I hope this was informative. Thank you for watching.